Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. It's 9 a.m. <laughs> I woke up early today. Okay, so today we're going to a place called Paradise Lake. It's like near where all the lakes are in this province of Canada. And we, are, we have been hired, Felicia and I, professional photographers. We were going to take photos of uh, like some cabins. cabins. Yeah, they showed us the photos on their website and they're like, we need some better ones. And we're like, okay, we'll do it. So, okay, this is interesting. So the Wi-Fi situation there is is there's 29 cabins and there's one Wi-Fi. We don't know what to expect. We don't know if the cell phones are going to work there. Uh, we had to. She said we had to bring sleeping bags not to use the beds. So, I don't know why. Basically, we don't know what we signed up for, but it should be fun. It's a beautiful day. We downloaded a nice Joe Rogan podcast. So Yeah, we learned from the last road trip where we had no music and no podcast. Yeah, I got uh, so much music. So uh, like four podcasts. We're good to go. Let's go. It's delicious. for the night and right now we are in the kitchen and it looks like a fully functioning kitchen like lots of little antiques lots of little trinkets collectors items this is the dining room a nice little seating area no TV so we will no there's one in here oh yeah okay let's see oh so we can watch old movies all night I got some popcorn we did a little Walmart run I think it's gonna be a nice getaway this room, or the cabin actually, it has like two bedrooms there, one washroom, and then upstairs they have a loft with bunk beds. Felt like all the bunk beds. Okay. <laughs> so you could fit like two families here pretty much. And they have the little pit and seating area outside, a nice deck, and like the lake is right in front of you. In Canada, on long weekends in the summer, this is what you do. You either go camping, you rent a cabin if you want, family reunion type things. Like, it's too bad we don't have more people with us. That always seems to be the case. It's just Belle and Wes and nobody else. Everybody's working. It's the children's room up here. So everything's a little bit smaller, and there's bank, uh, bunk beds. So this, I guess, this is the, the dinner table that Felicia said I have to have dinner at. So I'll be having dinner here, and Felicia, is, I guess she's going to have dinner at the grown-up table. <laughs> Cabinlife.com forward slash Wes. these kinds of blinds and they are like so frustrating for me because I never know how to get it to lock like I think I just always do it by accident right like you gotta pull it on an angle fell the other angle you gotta go that way oh but, but these ones what you just do one and then that yeah one way one way unlocks it one way uh no unlocks. Way. This whole time I had never figured out the pattern and I would just go like this, like getting, getting it to laugh. <laughs> oh, I know. Fel, do you want a beer? Sure. Or do you want a beer gria? What's a beer gria? It's beer and wine. A beer like this? <laughs> it's a beer gria, sangria. No, no that would be gross. Fel. I wouldn't make that. One man. <laughs> One's man, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Okay, you make yourself a beer gria and then drink it for the vlog. <laughs> oh, don't look at my feet, they're so dirty. Felice bought M&M's earlier. I just dropped one on the ground and usually I would pick it up off the ground and eat it. But here in the cabin, I'm like, mm, I think the floors might be a little bit dirty. Check this out. Fells, show them your feet. Okay, I'm embarrassed to show you guys, but the floors are dirty and these are my feet. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just, I might have like learned something. Okay, today? They have, they have like, oh man, I feel like I got mosquitoes all over me. I ha I, I see a lot of chipmunks here, but they're, but they all baby chipmunks. They're all baby squirrels. Like, how, that oh, the chipmunks are small. Okay. Chipmunks are small. You think? Because yeah. they look, I swear, they're this big, like a squirrel. Imagine a squirrel, but this big. Like, I think that they're babies, but they're all like that. The so, chipmunks are never the size of a squirrel. No? They're always smaller. So he said to me, he's like, I think they're a different brand of chipmunks. I did I'm so. like, you mean breed? A I, said, breed? I said, no, brand. <laughs> so we're going like, to try to take a photo now. Okay. For Wes's Instagram. I like... Lumberjack. Like, we're here shooting photography. But like... You say like uh, so much. I know, I gotta stop. <laughs> I say like way too much. If you saw the Kyoto video. Okay, so we're here to shoot, like, real estate. <laughs> you said <laughs> like again. Okay, I'm not gonna I say two like... Beers. sorry guys. <laughs> we bought a six-pack of beer and a bottle of wine. I'm like, we're not gonna drink it all. Beer Grias tonight. Beer Grias tonight. Monday night with Fel and Wes. Okay, we came here to shoot real estate photography, which is like, whatever, you know, it pays the bills. And, but my real passion, other than vid videography, like, which I just adore, is portraits. So I like to take portraits. I like to take, like, not like lame portraits. I like to get a little bit of, I like a little bit of color, a little bit of tone, a little bit of mood, right? I like to have, you know, I like to tell a story with my portraits, okay? Well, maybe I'm not a, a complete professional yet, but I'm getting there. I'm practicing every day. I try and post an Instagram on my Instagram every day. Uh, sometimes I miss a day, but today, so today we're going to shoot because um, I love the outdoors. I love chopping wood. We're going to put me in the scene. I've never seen him chop wood. You've never seen me chop wood? No. Yeah. We went camping. We buy firewood. Don't oh, we? because... Okay, we didn't bring... <laughs> no, because you're, you're not... When you go camping in Canada, or um, when you have to pay to go camping, you're not allowed to chop down trees. Yeah, they're All so strict. No, but we brought a hatchet. We brought an axe. And the wood you buy, you still have to chop up. Anyways, we're going to take a photo. We're going to take some photos, and they, they get posted on my Instagram. So... He's trying to plug his Instagram. <laughs> yeah, please follow me. Follow me. No, I don't care. I just do no, it. They're good photos. I do it for practice more than anything. Like, I admire him. I just I don't care how how many followers. I just do it for practice because not only practice photo uh, photography but also photo editing. Anyways, uh, we've blabbed enough. Okay. Vamanos. Vamanos. So when you buy like a kit, a camera kit or something, it comes with a bunch of accessories, bunch of junk. But this camera came with this little little mini tripod and it is so good like it is awesome to have this little thing because you can vlog like this with it and it allows you to reach your hand a little bit farther the problem is it's very dangerous I almost just dropped it and I reminded myself that we still have to get insurance for our camera gear because it's very important because I almost dropped our camera So we waited for the morning to take pictures of this house. It is 8, 10 a.m. And it's a lot brighter in here. Yesterday was so dark. Today it's bright. So we're going to take some photos of this house. We're going to take some photos of another house. And then we got to take some more photos. Like, how awesome is it to have one of these fireplaces here? Like, you get to, you get to chop your own wood here. And you get to have a little fire to warm the house. I don't know if there's heaters here. Maybe the black thing back there is a heater. But, like, look, you can see that it goes all the way out to the roof. The smoke goes out to the roof. One of the problems with that is that, yes, our socks are, like, dirty. The counters are dirty. I think there's, like, a layer of dirt that just, or, like, soot, or whatever you want to call it, that just collects over the house. We are leaving Paradise Lake now, and we've learned a few things. So 
First, photography takes a lot longer than you think. So it took us a few hours this morning, but we did a good job and that's what's most important. Second, the temperature drops here a lot at night. We were really cold, but we had a bonfire with our new friends and so that was, that was fun. Third, I learned that June is the worst month for mosquitoes, which we experienced yesterday. If you had seen us taking photos, it was like Wes with the drone and then me like swatting around him because there's so many mosquitoes. And another thing I learned is that because of like the beetle, something to do with the beetles here in BC, all these little like shrub trees, all the short trees are new trees. They cut down so many of the trees here. So a lot of the cabins used to not have a view of the lake because the trees were blocking it. And I don't know if Wes knew that, but I heard I was chatting up with one of the ladies and she told me that they had to cut down so many of the trees. And also in the winter here, the lake freezes over two feet of ice and they go out on their snowmobiles, which sounds so fun. And Wes and I are always avoiding winter. We go somewhere warm, but this kind of made me want to experience winter on the lake and go ice fishing and they do like a polar bear swim. They do hockey too, they play hockey. They play hockey and they collect wood from other parts of the lake, like all the dead wood and they bring it back and they cut it up for the year. And so, I don't know, I can see why they call it Paradise Lake. We had a really great time and now we're off to the next, next adventure. <laughs> so like we are in the middle of nowhere, like this is the most secluded area I've been to, like to stay. Like there's trees everywhere. Okay, so the last thing, the, the lady wanted us to take a photo of the front of the place. But I thought for our vlog, we'll bust out the drone. And there's this new, there's a feature on the drone where you can follow, like you tap the screen and it will follow you. So we're gonna have it follow the car. So it'll be like our, our going shot. So if it works out, that'll be the last shot. The final, that'll be the, the director's last shot. Okay, amigos, adios.